So what we are trying to do is engage community partners and help them influence the audiences that they have to make better choices around not using tobacco, moving more, and eating, eating in a more healthy fashion. So we have partners that represent education, philanthropy, faith-based groups, uh, industry, small business, financial institutions, you name it. It's a complete cross-section of our community in two counties. In the Healthy Community Alliance, we have 114 partners in two counties. They range from very large organizations to one-man small businesses or one-person small businesses. One of the businesses that is a member of the Healthy Community Alliance is the White Spot Coin Laundry. And um, the White Spot Coin Laundry um, engages their audiences, which are people who come in to do their laundry. They're there for an hour or two, and the attendance of the White Spot Laundry, Kim is the primary attendant. Kim is an attendant there. Kim talks to her clients and hears their stories. She talks to them, she's friends with them. And when she hears someone say, gosh, I wish I could quit tobacco, she's now equipped with tools from the Healthy Community Alliance to say to that person, hey, guess what? Here's some information to help you quit smoking. Call this number, let me know how you're doing. When I first engaged with Kim and got her started with the tobacco toolkits, um, I gave her a number of kits and I said, hey, I'll come back and check on you in a few days. And so I came back and she greeted with me, me with a smile and said, John, she goes, it's good to see you, but I've got a problem. And I said, what? She goes, I'm out of toolkits. I've talked to five people already that are ready to quit tobacco. I need more toolkits. So what I tell people is, is this is the power of collective impact. The idea that we can have Kim's who are working one-on-one -on -one with the people they know best, their audiences, and engaging them with tools to help them make healthier lifestyle choices when it's appropriate. So you think about 10 Kims doing that work, or, or 100 Kims, or what about 1,000 Kims and in 100 different organizations doing this work? That power is incredible. When you think about ways that you can apply funding to make a difference in health, that this community segment, this community sector is so important because that's where the action happens. And so um, we can talk about millions of dollars in funding, but if we apply that to facilitate local organizations to affect change at the very local base level, that's so important. That is so very important. Other initiatives are important too, but applying that funding and helping local organizations work with their community partners, the people that know the community the best, that's where you're going to see the change happen.